Hi, it's Deborah Atkinson, and this is The Flipping 50 Show, the place to reset, tune up, and prepare for your second and better half with the vitality and the energy that you want. In every episode, I answer questions from women just like you about what they're struggling with most. I give you the solutions to what to eat, how to move, and your biggest time challenges so that you can change the one or two key things that'll give you the most results in the least amount of time. So send me your question to flipping50tv.com and if I choose your question for the show, I'll send you some great gifts and goodies I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about later. And even if I don't choose your question, I'm gonna send you my Muscles in Minutes guide for toning those hard to tone areas. What are you waiting for? Let's start flipping 50 together. Today's question is from Sue, who writes that her biggest challenge is knowing where to start combining her healthy eating with beginning weight training. So the answer to your question is probably not going to be exactly the answer that you've expected. And here's why. I look over your lifestyle habits, specifically stress and sleep are major concerns. No matter what I tell you to do, if I give you the perfect exercise program and your stress level is at a seven or higher, what my friend Elizabeth Lombardo calls the red zone, or you're only at a five out of a 10 scale on your quality and quantity of sleep, your exercise program is not gonna work. So Sue, I'm gonna give you the basics on how to do that beginning weight training program But then we're gonna focus on how to make all day choices for better energy during the day and better recovery every night. All right, Sue, we're here at basic training. We're gonna start with six major muscle group exercises that are the simplest, but actually give you the biggest return on your investment of time and energy. We're just gonna take those six and as you progress, We're gonna twist them and turn them in different sets and pairs so that you still have tons of variety. We're gonna start with the squat. The great thing about the squat is it's a major muscle group exercise for your lower body, which means it boosts your metabolism, burns more fat, and it can actually help build bone density too. Next up is the chest press. And the chest press does the same for your upper body that a squat does for your lower body. We're gonna focus on the pectorals in the chest and we're gonna focus as we do it on the triceps in the back of your upper arms. So all of those things that you do like pushing a lawnmower or a vacuum, whether or not you like those things, they've gotta be done, they'll get easier. Then we're gonna balance that chest press with a row. The bent over row is great and I love it for two reasons. Not just because it works those big muscles in your back that changes your posture and makes all those pulling activities that we have to do in real life easier, but it also holds on and engages your core while you're doing the back exercise. So it's a multitasking exercise you're gonna love too. The next exercise, we're back to lower body the bridge and curl on the ball. You're gonna lie on your back on the floor with your feet up on the ball and engage your glutes, your hamstrings, all the back of body muscles, plus your core while you're doing that. Rolling in and out, you're gonna love that tone that it gives you in the back of your booty. Then we're gonna go from there to two smaller muscle group exercises. And the reason I throw those in, Sue, is because everybody wants to dare to go sleeveless, and these two are gonna help you do it. The first one is a bicep curl. And the great thing about the bicep curl is when you're carrying things, whether it's pets or children, or you're carrying groceries, you need strong biceps. So it's gonna help tone, tighten, but also make all day, every day activities a lot easier. Then, last but not least, It's your tricep press. And the great thing about the tricep exercise is it's gonna tone those bat or bingo wings from behind so that you can dare to go sleeveless with great confidence. Sue, those are your six basic training exercises. 
So what I'm gonna have you do is work through all of those six just one time for 15 repetitions twice a week for the first couple of weeks. That's foundation building. Your ligaments, your joints, and your brain to muscle connection needs that time to set things. And a strong foundation means less risk of injury down the road. So next up, we're gonna take those same six exercises that you know really well and you're comfortable with and we'll put them in pairs. And then we'll put them in trios and give you a lot of variety, even with those simple six. So don't worry, you don't have to remember a thing. I have all of it written down in a handy calendar and you can download that and today's episode link at foreverfitandfab.com. Okay, Sue, so here we are and it's time to work on the glue that's gonna make everything stick and that's sleep. If you want your exercise to pay off and even good nutrition to pay off, you've got to get great sleep because your hormones control everything and we need more growth hormone and less cortisol. That's what happens with optimal sleep. Here's the great news. It works both ways. You get better sleep, you make better nutrition and exercise choices and effort. But it works the opposite way so that we can all day make exercise and nutrition choices so that we get better sleep. So that's what we're gonna focus on right now. First, wake up at the same time every day. If you're doing that and on the right schedule for you, you'll start waking naturally before too long. Next, as soon as you can, get some sunlight for at least 15 minutes. It helps melatonin production so you'll sleep better the following night. Third, to work with your stress hormone cortisol, I want you to do your walking or weight training early in the day when possible. Fourth, fuel your morning with 35 grams of protein, which according to a study at the University of Missouri is a simple weight management technique. Add fiber, fat, to reduce inflammation and antioxidants to every smoothie. Follow the recipe suggestions in my smoothie guide. And at lunch and dinner, have another 25 to 30 grams of protein each. Number five, drink plenty of water between meals so you don't disrupt digestion during meals. A body that's dehydrated can't benefit as well from weight training or lose weight since it will respond to stress of dehydration by holding on to weight to protect itself. And six, at lunch, have a little bit more carbohydrate than you did at breakfast, and at dinner, have the most carbohydrate of all day. This increase in carbs as your cortisol levels start to dip down later in the day will keep you calm so you can carry on and wind down for a good night's sleep. A sweet potato is a great option. Seven, late in the day you can stretch or take a leisurely walk as long as you keep relaxation as your primary focus. Eight, about 90 minutes before bed start your bedtime routine. Shut off screens, you might take a bath, read, journal, or stretch. What works for you is unique. And last, number nine, bedtime is the same every night. Start paying attention to when you start to yawn or your eyelids get heavy, honor it and go to sleep. So Sue, the key flip of the day today is that sleep is the super secret ingredient to making weight training, cardiovascular exercise and your nutrition pay off. Sue, thanks for your question and let us know how it goes. And now I'd like to hear from you. Is sleep a challenge for you or is it knowing what to do with weight training or is your challenge something else? Send me your question to flipping50tv.com and if I choose your question for the show, I'm gonna send you exclusive access to the After 50 Fitness Formula for Women online course and a copy of You Still Got It Girl, the book. Plus my friends at Anne Marie Skincare are gonna send you a trio of their full-size products that you are gonna love. Even if I don't choose your question for the show, I'm gonna send you my Muscles in Minutes guide to toning those hard to tone areas. And if you've got any challenge with cellulite, you're gonna love the bonus section. What are you waiting for? Let's start flipping 50 together.